a lot of our projects, a lot of our focus areas and our interventions and our partnerships in the ESG space are long term, um, decades long in fact, um, with some of our key partners like WWF and the Smart Water Partnership Network. And so we have sought to, in this season, really consolidate and crystallize what it is that it looks like for us to show up in the ESG space. And our intention, while we may have eight priorities that we have identified wherein we are involved, um, locally we really want to focus on three. The first one being water stewardship. We know the water crisis that we're dealing with right now. We want to help people in water stressed communities um, that really build our economy and move our country forward to, to get the help that we can bring them with our sort of sphere of influence in those spaces. Secondly, we've got um, renewable energy. We know that we're world famous for our blackouts and so it's important for us to get off the grid and that is one of our goals to get off of the grid. Right now, Castle Light is brewed at 40% renewable energy and we want to do more. Um, and then finally, is entrepreneurship. Um, we know of course that we have the highest unemployment rate in history in South Africa and entrepreneurship is really at the heart and soul of who SAB has always been in this country. Whether you think of owner drivers or the kickstart business incubator programs that we're known for um, and we've got some amazing work that's happening in the SAB foundation where literally millions of rands on an annual basis are given to innovative entrepreneurs and that's about the holistic inclusion of women, youth and people with disabilities in that space as well and of course through SAB Shop, a responsible consumption platform, we're working with over 30,000 taverners who are bringing through our responsible trading program, not only to champion responsibility in the area of our trade but also to make sure that there's good business practice. Now, we're putting it under a banner that will be humanized and easy to digest for the many people we want to bring along for the journey and that is the country at large and so we're calling it SAB Beyond um, and it speaks to exactly that. It's the spaces that SAB be appears in beyond your traditional or typical beer space to propel our country forward. Yeah, so we're really, really excited to release our first ever ESG report um, under our, ES, uh, our SAB Beyond platform, and that is happening in November. That report is going to give a very comprehensive deep dive into our interventions. Well, first the problems, our interventions, and the impact of those interventions with our partners um, across all of our priorities. And this is something that we're wanting to do on an annual basis. It is part of our commitment um, to ethics and transparency to declare where we're at and we're not saying we've got all the answers we're not saying we're the ones but what we are saying is we are committed to doing more and so this first report is going to give us a really great baseline and a litmus test of where we are that will really help us to strategically launch into the future.